Fathom constantly aims at improving the model and data using the latest advances in research. In this poster exhibited at EGU Europe's largest geoscientific conference in Vienna, our latest work on pluvial boundary conditions is presented. As pluvial boundary conditions, so-called IDF, intensity duration frequency curves, are used. By means of an IDF curve, the intensity of a rainfall event for a given combination of duration and frequency, or in other words return period, can be derived. To capture the great intensities of sub-daily rainfall extremes, rainfall observations at an hourly time scale are required. Unfortunately, these measurements are not equally distributed in space, as you can see in the figure on the left, which poses a major challenge when running a pluvial flood model over data sparse areas. To overcome this constraint, we here show a proof of concept using machine learning to regionalize sub-daily rainfall information over Europe. The approach chosen is scalable and can therefore also be applied to other or larger areas. As it is a proof of concept, I should stress that the results are very preliminary and will very likely change as the approach is evolving. More specifically, we use hourly rainfall measurements gathered in the global sub-daily rainfall GSDR dataset and derive a set of parameters of a generalized extreme value GEV distribution per station. These sets of parameters will be later used as target data for the machine learning classification model. As predictor data, a range of hydrometeorological variables is used, such as precipitation, dew point temperature, and surface pressure. Additionally, elevation from our in house FAPDEM dataset is used. The machine learning workflow works as follows. In a first step, the classification model, here a random forest classifier, is fitted with the data available at cells containing one or more GSDR stations. In a second step, the fitted classifier is employed to predict GV parameters for all cells. Last, rainfall intensities can be computed based on the GV parameters and any combination of duration and frequency. Some results are shown in the figure on the right. You see that at large, patterns of precipitation are well represented, with the southern parts of Europe showing lower intensities for more frequent rainfall events, while the north could be seen as wetter. However, there are also areas, especially in the northeast of Europe, with overly high rainfall intensities. While it is generally hard to say what a correct IDF value is, these areas show us that there is still work to do. In fact, there are multiple aspects that need further investigation and potentially, potentially improvement. For example, other distributions such as the metastatistical extreme value MEV distribution or the simplified MEV distribution are widely used for sub-daily rainfall extremes. Also, our selection of predictor variables should be scrutinized. And probably most, most importantly, a robust validation scheme needs to be developed in which the machine learning predictions are compared against spatially distributed benchmark data sets as well as local IDF curves. Overall, the scalable approach is fast in regionalizing extreme value parameters in space to close the gap between local data and large-scale application. Even though results are very preliminary and literally the first output ever produced by our new approach towards IDF curves, they are very encouraging and hopefully result in improved, fluff, improved pluvial flood modeling at the continental to global scale. Thank you.